Hey, what's up, you guys? It's DCUC Fanboy here with another DC Universe Classics review. Uh, let me get this thing set up. There we go. Alright. And this time we'll be doing, of course, Despero. I finally uh, completed this build a figure. I finally got the stupid arm. He's finally completed. Now, first, let's get into the weapons detail. Let me get these weapons off of him first. This dude's gonna let him go. There we go. Put him over there for right now. I mean, the detail on these things is just awesome. Completely awesome. I mean, we got this little gun right here. It's pretty cool. I mean, it really is. Of course, the other side's just the same. You know, really nice. And then we have this gun right here. Oh, yeah, this bad gun right here. This is nice gun. Yeah, let me you better zoom in on this crap. There we go. This is nice. The entire thing, man. It's just all around nice. It really is. Detail on this thing is just so awesome. It's just so tight. Gosh, so awesome! All right, oh, sorry about that. So we got a little foggy there for a second. All right, now let's uh, get out Despero himself. Get the detail on him. I mean, one thing I'm going nuts over is his boots. Look at these bad boys. See that? Look oh, if you can. There we go. Oh, where'd it go? See that? Yeah, you can. You can see the stitchings on his boots. As well as going up his leg. Into his crotch. You can see the fly. The zipper and everything. Not the zipper, but you can see like where the pants is and everything. I mean, that's just so cool. Same as this. Detail on the bottom. No detail on the bottom of the feet, but that's okay. Not gonna be displaying it like that. Of course, his little holster. Uh, looks nice. His little belt right there. His little belt buckle, or whatever that thing is right there. Nice black fingernails. Has been digging in the dirt too much. Well, he is a dirty guy. You can see from the uh, the head sculpt. That's beautiful. Gosh, that is just awesome head sculpting right there, man. You gotta give it to the guys in Mattel to do this kind of work. I mean, really, this dude just looks ugly, and that's what he's supposed to do. That's how I like my my uh, bad guy and build a figures looking nice and ugly. Did you ever notice in Marvel and DC, most of the build a figures are bad guys? The, I think the only build a good build a figures we've had is Adam Smasher and Rex Mason. All the other ones are bad. They're evil, you know. Of course, on the back. More stitchings on the boots and everything. I have to follow up all the way through. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you how the, uh, his weapons fit on his back right here. I think I should, uh, put this a little higher. Just a little bit. Let me see. Excuse me for a second. Go in there. All right, yeah. Is uh, you take your little gun right here and put this guy on his knees, and uh, you put it like this. See, it has this little notch and this little notch, and you put it through right here to where it comes right through here, and you snap it to where it meets right here in the bottom. You snap it in there. Wait a minute, is that how you, Yeah, like that. And then it is not coming out. It's definitely going to stay in there. You know? And it just looks so, so badass. Looks so nice. Of course, he has his other little holster right here. And, uh, which you oh, put his gun in. He has no, uh, loose joints or anything, which is really nice. Like, I'm glad to see no loose joints and everything. And, uh, no stiff joints, no loose joints, and his joints don't just pop out. Or this arm, have an, ugh, unless you really take the jo things out, they are not going to open. 
guns coming off. But they are not going to come out. Unless you take them out personally, there is no way they're going to come out, which I, which is really cool. I like that. And, of course, this thing spins around. It's cool. It's awesome. That way it's not facing down all the way. But, um, I mean, just around this guy. Once again, so much detail. I mean, really, just all around the figure. Around the neck and everything right there. Ammunition on the belt. Gosh. Um, oh, yeah, let me get a uh, con size comparison. It's my uh, Orion, his little... Yeah, little custom sort of Orion. His little boot thingies right there. And his uh, little thingy right here. Uh, let me stand this dude up. Oh, Ryan, he's a cool figure. Right there, as you can see. You know, standing up side by side with uh, with uh, oh, Ryan. And uh, I gotta build a figure in here, in case you never got oh, Ryan. Here we go. Adam Smasher. Great figure. Great build a figure. He's uh, still towers over Despero, but Despero's not supposed to be Adam Smasher's height. H Despero's height is perfect. To me, it is just absolutely perfect. It could not be better. I mean, it, it is just perfect. Absolutely perfect compared with the figures. Now, let's get another big one in here that fights him. Or, there's another little dude that tries to fight him and stuff. Mr. Ma, little custom. What's his name? Kyle Rayner. Just customize the head. So... Yeah, I mean, shoot, really fits in scale and everything with him. I mean, shoot, if De Despero, he's a really great figure. I highly recommend him. Uh, yes, I think I just said this a minute ago, but a standard range of articulation. I mean, you're not going to find... Oh, let me take this off. Oh, Ryan, take his little, little boots off real quick. There we go. All right. And, uh, you know, you're not going to find anything on Despero that is not... On Orion, I can find anything on Orion that's not on Despero. I mean, shoot, you know, in articulation wise. I mean, shoot, they just perfect figures like this, man. Or Despero is perfect build a figure right there. I mean, he's just so freaking awesome. A lot of people said they, uh, in, instead of the weapons and all this crap, they wish he had a red cape, which, uh, that would be, you know, kind of fruity, I think. I mean, Despero. I've always seen him in my eyes as a dude with big guns and a, just a bad A, sort of like a little bounty hunter sort of thing going. And uh, and that would just look stupid in my eyes. I mean, I always hated the red cape idea. I, I really did. I like him in the comics when he has big guns. That's why when I buy a Despero, or a comic that has Despero in it, I gotta make sure he's got, he's looking like this and he's got them big old guns. Because I don't like that red cape thing. That just looks kind of dorky. I mean, he's a, he's a bad A, so he's got to look bad. He's got to have big old guns. But, uh, you know, just giving a little review real quick on this uh, build figure, because not a lot of people have them. And uh, I got down to the detail, articulation, sort of, uh, height comparison, I mean, shoot, the detail on the weapons, everything. So, uh, yeah, he's really cool. I, I highly recommend him. Actually, uh, my rating on this dude would probably be a nine and a half out of ten, nine out of ten. I mean, he's just a perfect build figure, perfect height, the weapons, highly detailed. He's highly detailed all over his body, uh, his skin color, the shading on his green pants, perfect. Just everything's perfect. Uh, perfect build figure in my eyes. So I mean, shoot, along with Adam Smasher, even though Adam Smasher doesn't have a lot of detail, Adam Smasher gives a good eight and a half out of ten. When uh, this guy gets about a nine out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten, probably around a nine. Uh, nine out of ten. I mean, shoot, this guy's just like almost perfect. There, there's nothing really wrong about him, but I mean, how would it really look if I just rated my figure or rated this guy ten? I mean, people would disagree and everything. So, but seriously, this guy's like a perfect builder figure. Uh, nine and a half out of ten. Nine out of ten. And this is DCUC fanboy giving a little review on this guy. Uh, please, I'll see. Well, I'll see you guys later. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, bye.